Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate follow back on Twitter using Socinator. Following back followers is a great way to engage them. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the follow back tab because we want to follow back followers. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to follow back a number of followers within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. You can find followers who have the same interests and follow them back. There are several configuration categories for follow back activity. Let's begin with the first one, job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should follow back the users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Twitter follower is followed back. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after following back the number of followers you set in number of follows per job. Number of follows per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter followers you want to follow back per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of followers to follow back per hour per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max follows per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep following back followers even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, let's say Monday, provide the start and end time, 12 a.m. to let's say 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. and click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's name it Twitter follow back. And click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Twitter follow back. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to follow back on Twitter. For example, the user should only have English characters in bio and username, so let's check this box. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum number of tweets the user should have. Let's say the user should have like at least 10 tweets. Next, you may also specify the number of followers and followings of the user. You can also set a follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input the follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. You can also specify the minimum characters in the bio. For this particular part, you can specify the words that should not be in the user bio, username, or name. Let's say politics. You don't want to engage with users who are into politics. Then type it here. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're ready, click the save button. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. Words that should be in the user bio, username, or name. Let's say you're into pets, so type pets, cats, dogs. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file using this button. Let's check it out and choose the right file. Let's say pets and click open and it's successfully added. The next filter will allow you to specify how active the 
user should be. So you can input the number of days of the user's last tweet. Let's say one day. Next is user is not following this account. So this will skip your followers. Next is if you want the user to have a profile image or a profile photo, you may also skip private users, muted users, and filter user based on verification. So you can skip verified users or those who are not verified. So for now, let's skip verified user. The next configuration category is after follow back action. So these are the actions that you would want to do after following back an account. If you want to mute the user so you can't see their tweets, then check this box. You may also like the user's latest tweets if you check this box. You can specify how many tweets you want to like as well as the delay between each like. You may also retweet their latest tweets. And again, you can specify the number of tweets to retweet as well as the delay between each retweet. Finally, you can also comment on the user's latest tweets. So you can upload comments by typing them in this area. If you check spin tags, then it will randomly choose comments from the comments that you would type in this area. Let's say awesome. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Choose the right file, let's say message, and click open. Hi, how are you? is successfully uploaded. When you're ready, click save. You may specify the number of comments you want as well as the delay between each comment. The next tool is other configurations. You can check this if you want to accept pending follow requests. So this would only apply if your account is a private account. Finally, manage blacklisted users will allow you to skip blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not follow back the blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can be a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start following back users, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating follow back on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button. Let's select Twitter. This will automatically bring us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to Grow Followers and select Follow Back at the left side of the app because we want to follow back on Twitter. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter Follow Back. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 22 should be okay, so let's select Slow. For user filters, let's check User has only English characters in bio and let's skip private users and verified users. For after follow back action, let's like the user's latest tweets. For other configurations, it's up to you and let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. This account already has configuration settings, so saving these new campaign settings will override the previous ones. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click Save. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab, where you can see that we have successfully created our Twitter follow back campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign, and the Action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.